talk about wireless data transfer today. It's a new product we have coming out uh, in January that's going to be available on all equipment. Um, any you know, tractors, sprayers, combines, pickers, it's going to be available for everything. And basically what it is, it's, you know, it's kind of what it sounds like. Normally, for 2630, you have to get information on and off the display, you've got to go through the USB drive. You got to stick stick the USB drive in. You got to hit import or export. Whether you want to get yield data, you know, any kind of coverage data, <clears throat> setup data, client form of fields, guides, lines, prescriptions, any data. You've got you've got to go through this right here. And it can be a pain if you got more than one or you know multiple pieces of equipment with this with this on. And now we can just we can do that. We can eliminate this and we can uh, send the data wirelessly. You know, it's what it like wireless data transfer. And it just streamlines the whole process. And when I say that, we're not replacing it, we're just offering a more streamlined deal to where you can, you can get your data on and off a lot quicker and, and a lot easier than you would with you know, going to every single piece of equipment or you know, doing 50 different things to get all the right information <coughs> on, the, on a piece of equipment. Like I said, the USB drive still can be used if you, if you, if you prefer it, if you can keep up with things better, then you can still use it. It's, it's not, you know, it's not eliminating that. You can still use it if you prefer to use it. Um, like I said, any data on the display, you can transfer wirelessly. And when I say that, you can transfer wirelessly from your tractor, from your machine, to your home computer. Um, is, is when I say wireless data transfer, you can't, the limitations of it, you can't transfer from tractor to tractor, um, but, but from your home computer to your tractor to your tractor to your home computer, whichever way, if you want to put guidance lines or full yield data, either way, is, is how it works. And benefits, there's a lot of good benefits, but the way so many decisions have to be made these days on seed, chemical, anything, you know, the quicker you can get your data, the quicker you can make decisions for the next year or whatever decisions you need to make. And if you can get this data uh, off the machine quicker, you can you know, get, get what you need to get quicker. Uh, also, you know, if you use a lot of USB drives, you have a lot of different profiles for your 2630, you may lose some data. You may forget what something's called, and you may lose something. And this can really help with, with you know, help with that. You know, if, you, if everything's already downloaded off, you, you know, you already got it there, you won't have to worry about losing it. And you know, if you want to share any of this, any yield maps or you know, spray maps or anything like that with uh, with agron uh, agronomists or anything like that, it makes it a lot easier. Because whenever you when you do wireless data transfer, it it, uh, it sends the data from from your 2630 to the MTG that Lewis was talking about, the modular telemax gateway. And then from the MTG, it sends it to mydownier.com. And then then. When you, uh, when you get it there, you download it from mydownier.com. But, um, and then when you get it to mydownier.com, you can send it to whoever, you know, you can send it to the agronomists, crop consultants, whoever you, you want to send it to. So it really, really helps with, with data sharing, if that's something you want to do. <coughs> the stuff that's uh, required to run wireless data transfer is, you have to have a 2630 at this point. You can't have an 1800, you can't have a 2600. And, so you have to have the 2630 display with the most up-to-date software. And you know, if you, if you want to do that, you just talk to me or Matt and we'll make sure we get the most up-to-date software. And the other thing, the same with the remote display access that Lewis was uh, talking about, you have to have this Ethernet cable. And that goes from the back of your 2630 to the uh, modular telematics gateway, which, you know, it's, it's not a big deal to put it in. It takes five minutes to put it in. So, so it's not like a big deal to do it. The last thing that's required as far as the machine side is JD Link Ultimate subscription, remote display access subscription, and a wireless data transfer subscription on the MTG. Now these two, for any new equipment, uh, JD Link Ultimate and remote display access, for those two, they're going to be on there anyway for any, any new equipment that's already going to be on there. Because we've taken the stance where if you're going to get new equipment, we're just going to make sure the technology, the base technology is on there to use it use later on, you know, if you want to use it or another owner, you know, if, after you trade that tractor, it's almost easy. Well, so we're always going to have three years of those on there anyways. And whatever, if you want wireless data transfer, you'll have to 
put that on there anyways. And you have to have these two on there anyways to, to put wireless data transfer on there. And these subscriptions are on the uh, modular telematics gateway, uh, as Lewis was discussing. What you need as far as the computer side is concerned, you need obviously the internet connection. You've got to download the map, the information from the internet. You've got to upload the information to the internet uh, before you can send it to your tractors. You have to have uh, an internet connection. My John Deere.com account. Uh, same way with uh, what Lewis was talking about, you have to have your mind.near.com account. It doesn't cost anything, it's just kind of a centralized location to get the JD link to get to, you know, a ton of different things. Um, so what we're trying to, we're trying to push down mind.near.com these days, but um, that's another thing you have to have, you have to have that account. And the last thing is uh, Apex. I don't know if any of y'all use Apex or have, I've seen it used. Um, that's one thing that you know, theoretically, you wouldn't really have to have it if you have another software you use. But to really get the full benefit of it, you need to have Apex to really streamline the process because it makes it so much easier to, to get your data off and send your data to the truck. I mean, that's that's the best way to do it if you really want if you really want to get into it. But that's uh, that's all for wireless wireless data transfer. Does anybody have any questions concerning that? On the wireless.